Hello everyone and hope you are doing well. I always say that writing a good introduction is the key to succeed in PhD entrance exam. A good introduction is going to reflect the way you think, is going to reflect the, uh, that you really know the answer, and it's really going to leave a good impression on the one who's correcting your paper. So that is really important. And as usual, I always try to show you the best way to answer that by providing practical examples. So let's have a look today at what kind of question I have and how we should answer this. So let's let's start with the question. I think there is a problem with the question, a typo or something, so mind it, but at least you can get the 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 idea. So to be accepted as a member, as a member, as members in the academic community, which the big entry would be academics demonstrate, months, uh, mastery of standards form of appropriating someone else's work or ideas, discuss the statement of both or, or in a coherent essay. So if we have a look at this, uh, uh, at this, and we'll find that we have to be accepted, that's okay, so it's going to be kind of an entry, and there is an academic community, there is academics, and that is you, to demonstrate a mastery of standard forms, we have appropriating someone else's work ideas, and you have the word discuss. Now, let's start first with the word discuss, means that this is the answer. I always say when they tell you the word discuss, means they, they, they have given you the answer. You just you have to talk about it. It's something that you really have to remember, because most of the time we said it's a question. Actually, sometimes it's not a question. This is an answer by itself. It just you are asked to discuss it. Now, means what you have to talk about everything they have said. So let's start and see what we are, what we're supposed to talk about. Like the most important thing here, it's about appropriating someone else's work. So we are talking about research methodology. We are talking about the things about citation, paraphrasing, and using someone else's ideas. And this is, we have to stick or to adhere to certain standards. So as you can see, this is my introduction here. This is what I wrote. And what I want to do here, I just want to explain to you every word I have said. So in the future, when you are writing, you would do the same thing. So let me start in the beginning by talking about contextualizing my introduction. Often students, when they study written expression, they always are asked to start with the hook. But often they say the hook is a some is a statement that is going to be to is go is interesting and is going to be to kind of attract the reader. But often they fail to say that the hook itself, sometimes especially in academic writing, is there to contextualize what you are saying. Imagine, I would say to my students, imagine that you don't know the question and you haven't seen the question, you just have the answer. Just reading the answer, I must know what you are going to talk about. So I start with research. So research is built on the foundation of what I have discovered. So once I read this, I know that there, it has to do with the, the idea of research being built by what all, what all researchers have done before. So this is the first sentence, and I have, in fact kind of take it further and I talked about uh, uh, it is the culmination of existing knowledge my, made by researchers, educators and students and students. So this is what I said in the beginning and uh, let me highlight this by saying that this is our our hook. So this is, uh, let me find something a bit brighter than this. Okay, so this is our hook. This is what we have started with, just to show that we are talking about this existing knowledge, body of knowledge. Okay, uh, I have talked about this in my YouTube life, but I have, in fact, added another sentence. I felt the need that there is a sentence to link between the introductory sentence and um, the thesis statement I, I'm going to advance. So I added another sentence. It's advancing in your research in academia necessitate building upon the, this robust foundation of prior work. Okay, so what I'm saying here is literally I'm trying to just say this to be accepted. So this to be accepted, I have just linked it here with this sentence. So I said 
advancing in your research. So if you want to start a new research, it, starting a new research means also you want to enter this acad academic world. This academic community means you want to start a new research. This is what, what I am saying here. So advancing new research in academia is a state building upon this robust foundation of prior work. Now, where is the problem? Everything is now is good. There is no problem. So what is needed? However, this, however, is used as contrast. means that there is a problem. There is something. There is an issue. It is contrasting. So, it, so I want to say that you want to enter this community. There must be something. So taking someone else's ideas, research, writing, or creative output requires adhering to certain guidelines. Now, if we have a look at this sentence, I could have said just, however, taking someone else's ideas, uh, ideas requires adhering to certain guidelines. So, uh, if you can see, I have added, I, ha I have added this, um, D, this, taking someone else's ideas, research, writing, creative output requires. So, what I have said here, because the word, don't forget that the word is discuss, I said, to appropriate someone else's work. So this is someone else's work here. I wanted to clarify this work. What kind of work are we talking about? So we, I'm talking about research, writing, and creative output. So all these are under this, uh, are related to someone else's work. So this is what I meant. So we said to be accepted, that's the entry or to academics that would be here. And if I'm talking about someone else's work, would be here. And of course, let's change the color. If we are talking about, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Appropriating. That's appropriating. That would be appropriating. It is going to be, uh, is going to be here. Taking someone else's work. As you can see, the word discuss entails that I need to talk about every word. In fact, you see that here, for example, culmination of existence made by researchers, educators, and students. In fact, that is uh, that's, that is the member of academic community. So, academic community, these are the academic community. All right, that's researchers, educators, and students. Those are what I meant by by academic community. As you can see. My introduction is reflecting every word I, every word in the in the question or the statement I was provided. Now, let's go to uh, okay, adhering to certain guidelines. Now, this is the guidelines here, as you can say. These are literally, literally, what I can say. These guidelines were certain guidelines. This is what we call thesis statement. I'm starting to provide my thesis statement because I'm going to to uh, articulate, I'm going to talk about the answer here. So, a researcher must what? Properly cite resources, paraphrase correctly, seek permission when necessary, acknowledge collaborative effort, follow ethical standards of their field. So, all these are going to be related to standard forms. So, so this is the answer. As you can see, I was provided with the statement. The statement, it was deliberately, it's not clear because I had the word discuss because I'm supposed to discuss things further. So what I have in the discussion, this is the thesis statement. If you are looking for, this is the answer. Now, because uh, the question is discuss means that I have, I, I am a liberty to talk about several aspects on the topic. And one of the aspects is what if I don't adhere to these? Uh, what if I'm not going to adhere to these, um, uh, to this to this, uh, sorry, to these kind of guidelines is going means that failing to meet these standards violates academic integrity and can lead to serious uh, repercussion, including plagiarism, legal issues, reputational damage, and loss of trust in both academic and professional contexts. So, as you can see, I have few ideas. I started talking about the academic community. I started to talk about the guidelines. I talked about what if you have failed to talk about these guidelines. I all have talked about them in the in my introduction. And uh, let me kind of add something that is most important and you want you to remember that once I am talking 
And every word is kind of put there in, with a purpose in mind. Let's say, for example, when I talked about when I talked about these kind of guidelines, I started, for example, to cite sources and paraphrase correctly. If you fail this, this is going to take you to plagiarism. And seeking permission is going to take to legal issues. So I tried my best to put the repercussions in a way they mirror the same guidelines. If, if you don't put, if you fail to do these guidelines, this is what's going to happen. And of course, because this is an introduction, I could not kind of relate them directly because this is what I'm going to do in the development. So this is what I do. This is how I do it. This is how I think when I write, especially in an exams. And in fact, this is going to help you with any kind of academic writing. You would do the same kind of thing. And of course, this is going to be developed later in uh, in an, uh, sorry, in the development phase, then of course, conclusion. Uh, so thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I shall see you in other videos, please. Goodbye.